What's going on everyone? My name is Brandon and today we're going to be taking a look at the Jeep Wrangler 4xE Hybrid and at the viewer's request, we're going to find out what happens when you run out of gas and you run out of electricity. Guys, this is about to get real. I'm not stopping until we're at zero. This thing is going to actually stop. Oh, oh. Uh, don't do this guys. Don't run out of gas. Run out of electricity. Come on. Don't do that. It's stupid. Gas station, where you at? We're pushing the vehicle to the gas station. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get started. Now, in the previous video, I did show you what happens when we run out of gas in the Wrangler 4xE. Now, with the electricity, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, and I'm super interested. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen when we run out of both. Now, I've got my trusty old gas can here for our emergency backup, and uh, hopefully we don't have to use that, but I got a feeling we might. All right, let's find out what happens. All right, we are now at 100% battery. We do not have any gas, so I'm going to do a reset right here on the trip A odometer. We're going to reset that, and here we go. All right, we have been five miles, and we are down to 72%. We are doing about 70 miles an hour, so we'll see how far we can get here. Now, this is interesting here, 41 miles to the gallon, but yet we've not even used any gas at all so this is uh, obviously not an accurate uh, gas mileage I think I'm gonna turn around about at the 12 mile mark um, maybe before that we are already down to 63 percent and we've only been six almost seven miles I don't think we're gonna get uh, 20 miles out of this we might though this is not how you would normally uh, use the vehicle you wouldn't purposefully run out of gas and purposefully run out of battery but it is interesting to see what can happen in these conditions if for some reason you happen to be in that condition so um, you know this video is to help us be more educated about the Jeep and know what to do and when to do it all right we are at 50% battery and 9.6 miles so I am going to actually go ahead and uh, turn around actually so I'm gonna go ahead and get off this exit you can see here we got us a good bit of oh man I forgot to turn my max generation on I could have got a little extra battery there all right this is off though from a stop feels like it got pretty good uh, you know power enough to really get out of the way if you will but it is to the floor 10 miles even um, 10 miles even here and we are at 48%. Now at this point with the turtle light on, we are simply running on pure electricity. The engine has not started one single time. And uh, this is getting exciting here. All right, now I'm honestly getting a little nervous here. Uh, we're down to 38% battery. We've got 11, uh, we've only been 11 miles. I'm just really, really wondering what's going to happen here with no engine and no... All right, so something's happening right now. Hold on. All right, so this is interesting, very interesting. 36% battery. I am on cruise control, but I am slowly deselling. There is nobody in front of me, and I am slowly deselling. Oh, boy, okay. So I'm going to take the cruise control off, and I am wide open throttle now. Wide open throttle. This is what we got. This is what happens. 34% battery. It is going to leave us stranded here on the road. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and hit put my hazards on. Definitely interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm at 32% and now I'm at 47 miles an hour. Uh, it's just, I can't go over 40, I'm at 48 right now. Wide open throttle. All right. I'm going to pull over to a safe place here and uh yeah i got i got i got no throttle response at all interesting all right 32 percent battery and uh, i am in drive as you can see uh, this does show to be in hybrid mode i can't switch it to anything electric mode e-save mode nothing and now i'm going to see what type of throttle response i have oh i still okay all right okay well let's get going oh boy yeah. All right. Well, I guess I thought I had some, but 
definitely not enough. Not sure what happened there. It, it literally brought me down to about 50 something miles an hour. I'm now going 65 miles an hour, 66. I am at wide open throttle though, I will give you that. Wide as the pedal is to the metal, wide open, and I can only get 67 miles an hour. Uh, before I could only do about 48. Not really sure what that deal was, but I am still at 25% and I am not stopping till we're at zero. All right, so 25%, 14 miles. Guys, this is definitely not how you want to, uh, you know, uh, use your vehicle. Definitely don't try to, to run purposefully out of gas and purposefully out of uh, battery. This is for testing purpose only. You know, this is it's just interesting information. All right, so as you can see, we are slowly declining uh, speed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, hazards back on because the speed limit is 60. Actually, speed limit is 70 here in this area. I think we got us a cop back there. Boys, I got the wind behind me going downhill. I hit 70, I'm at 74 miles an hour now. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but all right, we're now at 14%. Go and we're starting to decline again. All right, we're at the 13% mark. We've been a whopping 16 miles. I still got the pedal to the metal, and we feel like we're going nowhere fast. There is a reason for the turtle, it's a symbolization of you going extremely slow. 9% battery. All right, we're at 2% battery here. This is uh, getting a little bit hairy here. I'm going to go ahead and pull over here because this is an exit that I live on. Oh, look at it. We just got an extra charge battery. We went from 2 to 3%. We are at 3% battery and I'm getting off the exit, uh, the exit that I live off of, just to make sure that I'm somewhat not uh, stranded too far away from home. And let's get back to the screen here. I only get, I'm going a little bit uphill here, max 32 miles an hour. I have no gas and I'm at 1% battery. Oh my goodness. What's gonna happen when we hit 0% battery or that little uh, less than 1% with no gas? All right, it's coming, here we go, come on. Drawing a whopping 16 kilowatts, 38 kilowatts up this hill now. All right, it's gonna go soon. Come on. 20.6 miles though, 20.7 miles on a full electric battery only. And I am going nowhere. Okay, this, where yet? Are you gonna stay at 1%? Huh. Uh, very interesting. I'm surprised it has not dropped to zero or that less than 1%. All right, I've got a red light that I gotta come to, so let me just stop here. Well guys, I don't know if this thing was gonna actually stop. Oh, oh, there it went. E-drive, temporarily unavailable, bam. Under 1%. The drive thing is blinking. It says shift to park. <laughs> this is it. No throttle response, less than 1% battery, no gas. I am dead in the water, guys. I am dead in the water. 21.1 miles on a full tank of battery. I have no gas. It has not used one bit of the engine. Um, as soon as it hit that under 1%, uh, the transmission shifted to neutral by itself and said pull over and put it in part. So I am at a standstill. So we're gonna see what happens when I put some fuel in this. All right, now let's see what happens when we put just a little bit of gas in it. Bam, engine fires right up. Zero miles to empty, and look at this. The little uh, thing is gone. I gotta turn around quick. Engine is running. Turtle light is gone. Have plenty of power. 
Actually, that's interesting. Wow. The power is definitely different. Shift to park. Dang it. Guess I didn't put enough gas in it. All right. We shut it off and fire it back up. See what happens. Turn off. Fire it back up. Yep, can't get it out of park. Now I'm on a hill. All right, let's put some more gas in it. Oh, wow, yeah, that is definitely uh, not what I was expecting there. Uh, don't do this, guys. Don't run out of gas. Don't run out of electricity. Come on, don't do that. It's stupid. Let's get to a gas station. Get her filled up. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Got me again. Ah, oh, the gas station is right there. And I am dead in the water. Come on. Gas station, where you at? Come on. Can you, can I make it? Ah, oh, come on. Five miles an hour. Come on, I can make it. 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 I'm gonna get out and push this thing. All right, we're pushing now. We're pushing. We're pushing the vehicle to the gas station. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All right, I'm pushing the vehicle. To oh, come on. All right, let's get back in. Oh, are you gonna make it? Oh, it's on the wrong side. Oh, oh, it just locked us in the park when we hit uh, one mile an hour, I think. Wow. Don't do this, guys. Don't do this. All right, so that was a wild experience. Uh, it shut me down again right here at the gas station. Had to push into the gas station. Let's put some more gas in this thing and be done with it, all right? All right, so this thing is completely empty, so we're going to find out how big this tank really is. All right, I just filled up with 16.2 gallons. It says that I can go about 330 miles on this tank of gas. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and reset trip A, and when I reset that, I'm not gonna do any charge, and we're gonna find out how far we can go on gas only. No electricity charge. I'm gonna find out gas only, how far you can go. All right, guys, see you next time.